Hi everybody, I'm Tim Schaefer from Double Fine Productions here today to take a deeper look into Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts 2 is an action-adventure game starring Rasputin Aquato, a powerful young psychic, also a trained acrobat, who ran away from his circus home to join the Psychonauts and expand and explore his psychic abilities. One of Raz's most important psychic abilities is that of astral projection, which allows him to project his psyche into someone else's mind and see their mental landscape made real. He can help them wrestle with their inner demons and fight their actual nightmares in person. Which means that the levels in the game are actually brains, and Psychonauts 2 has even more brains than the first game. One of the first brains you'll get to visit is that of Caligosto Lobato. Now, Dr. Lobato was actually a villain in the first game, but after Raz fought him, they kind of became friends. He actually has a piece of information that Raz wants, which is who kidnapped Truman Zanotto. And Dr. Lobato wants to tell you, but he can't because of something going on deep in his unconscious mind. So Raz has to travel along with Sasha and Mia and Coach Oleander into his mind and try to extract that information. And there's a lot of forces at work inside Lobato's mind, maybe put there by someone else, who are trying to stop you, including some of uh, the enemies that you might recognize from the first Psychonauts game, including the sensors, entities designed to stamp out thoughts that don't belong in someone's mind, including Raz, who doesn't belong here. They also see a lot of new enemies, such as doubts and regrets. Lobato's mind is plagued with doubts and regrets, and they're very dangerous for Raz. Did I mention there's a lot of teeth? Have I mentioned there's a lot of teeth? There's a lot of teeth. He's an amateur dentist. He doesn't know a lot about teeth, but he really, really likes them. Luckily, to fight all these enemies, Raz will have his psychic powers, including his powerful psychic punch, where he has his hands that extend psychically from his body into a powerful melee combo. He also has his psychic blast, where he can shoot a powerful energy beam out of his brain. Raz also has the ability of pyrokinesis. It's always handy to be able to burn things with your mind. And levitation. Raz can use his own thoughts, his own thought bubble over his head as a balloon to float around or ride around on to get somewhere really quickly. So with these new powers, Raz can fight all these new enemies and hopefully find out who kidnapped Truman Zanotto. Now, while Truman's been kidnapped, the person running the Psychonauts is Hollis Forsyth, the second head of the Psychonauts. Hollis is also the head of the intern program, which is what Raz has joined now that he's become part of the Psychonauts. And he is invited into Hollis's brain for instruction. Hollis is teaching him a new psychic ability called mental connection, where you can see two thoughts in someone's mind and connect them, sometimes creating new thoughts, making new things happen. While Raz is training in mental connection inside of Hollis's mental classroom, he experiments a little too far and accidentally, maybe slightly on purpose, creates a lot of interest in gambling inside of Hollis's mind because he wants to go on the mission to the Lady Lactopus Casino. Unfortunately, this connection leads to more connections and eventually the whole thing gets out of Raz's control and Hollis gets way too interested in gambling. And uh, Raz has to go back into her mind where he finds out that her memories of medical school and where she studied neurology have been corrupted by this gambling interest and it becomes a casino hospital. And Raz has to actually go in there and engage with all these gambling machines in order to shut it down and return Hollis's mind back to normal. And she's gonna be, she's gonna be really mad. Inside Hollis's mind, you'll see bigger, tougher sensors that have turned into bouncers inside the casino, and also a new enemy called Bad Idea. Bad ideas uh, spawn actual nasty-looking light bulbs over their head that become dangerously explosive and blow up in Raz's face. Now, headquarters. One of the things that happens in Psychonauts 2 that's most exciting to Raz is that he gets to visit the headquarters of the Psychonauts themselves, which is called the Mother Lobe. This is the center for all Psychonauts activity, and Raz gets to see his old friend Sasha and Mia, who were counselors at summer camp in the first game. He now gets to see where they work. He gets to see their offices, he gets to see their labs, he gets to see their co-workers, other agents in the field, but also he gets to see the admin and maintenance staff as they go about their business and hang out in the cafeteria, and sort of the everyday happenings of uh, what life, what appears to be normal in the Psychonauts world. There are a lot of little hidden pathways and treasures around the base that he can find, side quests and scavenger hunts and things that you might recognize from the first game. There's a lot of characters to meet, a lot of fun things to discover, a lot of secrets about the Psychonauts themselves, and the lore of the founding of the Psychonauts, including the Psychic Six, who were seen on stumps around the campfire in the first game, but now we get to go much deeper into the story of how they played a part in the founding of the Psychonauts, um, how they were brought together and recruited by Ford Cruller and turned into this amazing international uh, espionage force. One of the things that was so important about the first game was exploring this natural environment around the summer camp, all the little hidden paths and caves where Raz's adventures took place. And so in the second game, we've expanded on that. There's an even bigger natural environment, multiple natural environments around the headquarters that you can explore. There's a quarry 
outside the mother lobe, which is where they dug out these massive deposits of titanium. Titanium, this psychoreactive mineral that amplifies and, and changes psychic powers. There's lots of secrets around the quarry, lots of abandoned mines and caves and things to explore. And next door to the quarry is an abandoned roadside attraction called the Questionable Area, a sort of power vortex of strange happenings, which is also caused by the titanium deposits in the area. Water flows uphill, animals behave strangely. There's caves dedicated to the mystery of the Sasclops, which is a giant one-eyed being that might have existed and might not have. Here in the questionable area, Raz's family is camped out, his entire family, as if to embarrass him in front of his new Psychonauts friends. His family has showed up and they want him back in the circus. It turns out some of his family members, including his own father, have a little bit of psychic power themselves, and they'll be exploring that in Psychonauts 2, and you'll get to find out who put this curse on Raz's family to die in water? The Quados have been cursed by a mysterious character to all die in water, and this manifests itself in the uh, form of the Hand of Galokio, which is this hand that comes out of the water, which is really just Raz's psychic construct. Raz is so afraid of water because of the curse put on his family that every time he comes near water, this creepy hand comes out and tries to grab him and pull him under, which is all happening inside of Raz's head. In Second House 2, you'll get to find out who put this curse on Raz's family, where it came from, and what he can do about it. The story you uncover about the curse put on Raz's family links back into the story of the foundation of the Psychonauts and Raz finds out that his family and the Psychonauts family are actually um, more intertwined than he believed. So there's a lot of mystery to discover for the player and Raz and his family and his friends as they explore the connections between his family and the Psychonauts and what it all has to do with Maligula. Maligula is a one of the first villains the Psychonauts ever fought. She's a powerful psychic and she's a mass murderer and she's been believed to be dead for many years, but there's a lot of unknown things going on behind the scenes and a lot of mysteries and a lot of uh, plots for the player to uncover in Psychonauts 2. So that's it. Thanks for taking this deeper look into Psychonauts 2 with me. The game is coming out August 25th and you can pre-order now. So I'll stop talking so you can go and do that. Thanks for watching.